Rocky, can you imagine getting your first start inside Bryant-Denny Stadium? It's amazing. Chattanooga's won the toss. They elected to defer. They will kick it off. Kendrick Law on the return. Has some room up the middle. Still on his feet. Trying to bounce to the outside. And eventually will be brought down at the 33-yard line. A return of 33. So Milro is out of the shotgun. Running back, Jace McClellan to his left. Fake the handoff. Looking for a deep shot of the opening play. That's complete. Jermaine Burton. Alabama starts it off with a bomb. Alabama has scored a touchdown in 11 straight red zone trips. Here's third and four. Milrow with time. And he's got it. Touchdown, Alabama. That's Jermaine Burton again. A five-yard touchdown pass. As Alabama strikes first. Sean Berg, tip drill, incomplete. It actually looked like a Chattanooga player was the closest one to it, Sam Phillips. And support these seniors, show them out for everything that they've contributed to this program. Third and five, Milrow finds his tight end, Amari Nyblak. He is a matchup nightmare. You see how many white jerseys it takes to bring him down. To Chattanooga territory on first down. Faking the handoff, Milrow. Plenty of time. Look at the protection. Downfield. Got his man. Jermaine Burton. He steps out at the two. A pickup of 44. As McClellan. He gets the carry straight up ahead. Trying to push the pile. Waiting for the signal. And still waiting. Now the late touchdown signal. Second touchdown of the game for the Crimson Tide. Second and six, empty backfield. Schomburg, hello. And that could be targeting. We see multiple penalty flags as Chris Braswell just lights up Schomburg. Third and nine. Schomburg hit as he throws, incomplete. He was looking for Javen Watley, good coverage downfield. So Kryle is on for his second punt of the game. McKinstry is the deep man waiting at his own 15. He will back up inside the 10, and he's going to look to return this one. Ball is out! And it looked like Alabama jumped back on top of it at the 10-yard line. You know, just, I think I had like five touchdowns, so <laughs> eh, not bad. <laughs> Jim Miller with the carry over the right side, making some moves, making guys miss. He's got a first down across the 25. Josh Battle brought him down after a gain of 14. Second and 10, faking the toss. Milrow throwing to the outside, complete. Jalen Hale with the catch. Williams with the carry. Look at that jump cut. Making dudes miss. And, and there's an art to that, of reading that thing, of what the defensive end does and acting accordingly. Pitching that to the outside is Miller. And he is tripped up, but he does pick up the first down. Second and seven. Williams with the carry. Bounces it to that left side. He's looking for the end zone, and he gets in. An 11-yard touchdown run for the senior, Roydell Williams. Third down, they decide to run it on the ground with Appleberry. And he picks up four. He'll be short of that first down marker. Understandable for the freshman making his first career start. A run up the middle, McClellan. Bang down inside the 40 at the 39. He picks up 26 yards. That position group above, above any others has got to play as a unit. Third and 10. Pressured. And Milrow goes down. Third and 12. Davis gets the handoff. And that shows you where they are with their quarterback situation. I know SEC fans might not want to hear that, and I think Georgia's right there, but to me, Michigan's the top team in the country. Jam Miller with a huge hole on the outside. It's a track race to the end zone, and he's pushed out of bounds inside the 10 by Josh Battle. Ugh. 
I guess it's, it's a good problem to have. Milrow throwing the outside, leaping into the end zone. And Robbie Otts, touchdown. <laughs> Empty backfield on second and seven. Schaumburg throw to the outside, completes it to his running back, Appleberry. And defensively, Alabama will make the shift. Schaumburg, the pass, and it is picked up. No. Yes, it is. Christian Story with the interception for Alabama. Milrow. He decides to take off this time, but he will not get there. Brought down at the 32, a gain of two. Will Reichert has had an outstanding season. 15 of 17, as long as 51. This would be from 50. Good snap. Kick is up from 50 yards out. And Riker's got it. The thing he said he's going to remember the most about being a player here at Alabama, all the guys he went against in practice. Appleberry with the run. He'll be brought down as he crosses the 30. He said he rattled off so many names. He's NFL GMs, and that's why they're out there. Appleberry with the carry again. And he will have the first down. I remember talking to him a couple of years ago about how well he was prepared to step into the NFL after being here. The transition, nothing for him because it was so similar to what he had done here at Alabama. After the timeout, second and ten. Schomburg completes it. A first down to Sam Phillips, a gain of 12. Ball at the 40. Handoff is to Appleberry, and he's got some space. Bouncing it to the outside. And he's knocked out of bounds at the one. Malachi Moore saved the touchdown, but a gain of 39 for Chattanooga. So After video review, it is a touchdown. The runner was inside the goal line pylon. He's being real quiet down there, I'm sure, like T.O., you know. Look at him bouncing off, Chase McClellan. Still on his feet, brought down inside the 35. What a response for Alabama. Williams will get the carry, and that hole just opened up. And he's got enough for a first down. Runner runs right behind it. Faking the toss. Milrow throwing wide open. Malik Benson. A 20-yard score. I see a lot of defense these days, and they have athletes, and guys are just running around. I used to call it rat ball. You know, this is there's a structure to this in, in, a, in a way guys are supposed to play, and they do it well. Second and seven, Appleberry buried in the backfield. Justin E. Boydby. And that'll do it for the first half. A dominating first half performance, Alabama. Pass is complete, and the Mocs do have a first down with Sam Phillips so far today against Alabama. Second and ten, wide open down the seam. Javon Watley pushed out of bounds in the red zone, a gain of 54. <laughs> Opening drive of the second half for Chattanooga. They're trying to march it down the field. Man coverage. Schaumburg, pump fake, throws, incomplete. That was good coverage, batted down by Caleb Downs. Clayton Kryle, a 23-yard field goal attempt. So Chattanooga starts this second half with a drive down the field that ends with three points. Which is why you want to go, you play well, and you get some other people in the game and allow your quarterback to develop. Simpson now two for two as he completes that one to Isaiah Bond and a first down for Alabama. I mean, look, there's only one way to develop. Williams with the carry hits that hole hard on the left side. Stutter step hits the defender going out. And Roydell Williams, the senior, has got a first down, a pickup of 13. Second and 15, plenty of time for Simpson, and he finds Kendrick Law 
Dragging down at the end zone. Touchdown! To me, it looked like there was enough. For that After review, shot. video evidence shows that the runner was down short of the goal line. They got the big boy package with three tight ends, and Justice Haynes is the running back. He gets the carry, and he is in there for the touchdown. Reggie Davis in the backfield. Schaumburg looking to throw across the middle to find Mays, and that's enough for a first down. You know, do you, do you put a one-loss team ahead of a an undefeated team? I, I don't know. The committee, that'd be a tough one. On third and ten, Schaumburg has time. Throwing sidearm and almost picked off. Will you put Agreed. Michigan in the SEC? They could have three losses nah, by now. I don't know about that. They are not that good. Put Florida State in there, I, I would say yes to that, what you just said. Punt return by Caleb Downs, and he finds the seam. He makes the punter look silly. Caleb Downs, show him what you got. Touchdown, Bama. And with what they have left, I mean, they still have Auburn, and I get that record is not what it usually is, but it's at Auburn. That is a tough game every single year. If they can handle business there. The, I mean, the ACC would have an absolute conniption fit. On third and one, a first down for Chattanooga. Nah, they pick up seven on the ground. He said, with this year, with so much to prove, guys are having more fun. I'm actually having more fun coaching them. On third and nine, throw is by Schaumburg. And a nice run after the catch by Watley. So another first down for the Mox. We start this fourth quarter with a third and 12. Reggie Davis, a run on the ground on the right side. It'll be well short. So it backs up the Crimson Tide. It's third and nine. Simpson flushed out to his left. He's going to try to pick it up with his legs. He does and more. Simpson crossing the 50 inside the 35 on his feet. No way! Ty Simpson to the house. A 79 yard down by the backup quarterback, Ty Simpson. Very I'm still close. not convinced where he dropped this ball. It was ruled a touchdown on the field. I mean, right there, that ball's oh. coming out of his hand before the line, but then the ball lands in the end zone. But I, I, I think this is going to be overturned. And okay, so what is Nick Saban telling his he, young He's saying, why would you even After make video this review, evidence shows that the runner dropped the ball prior to breaking the goal line play. The fumble occurred inside the one yard line where it rolled dead in the end zone. By rule, the ball will be returned to the one half yard line. Young gets the carry and he pushes his way into the end zone for the touchdown. That's what it takes to yep. be at the top year after year after year. Third and eight. Davis on the ground. And he gets hammered as soon as he crosses the 25 by Campbell again. Simpson out of the shotgun. Throwing and completing it to Cole Adams, but he's going to be short of the marker. About two yards short. Third and seven. And off again is to Houston. And that defense stays strong. A loss of one on third down. So into Chattanooga territory on third and four. There's a keeper. Lonergan puts his head down, and he's got enough for the first down. How about the toughness from the freshman? Second and three. Haynes get the carry, and he'll have enough to move the sticks for a first down. It will develop you. We win national titles. All of our guys, a lot of them go to the league. You come in here and you trust our process. It'll work. Haynes bounces it to the outside. Touchdown, Bama! A 33-yard scamper, and you see why they love Justice Haynes. Yeah, that FCS playoffs, which is always fun, that'll get started here soon. Third and six, Davis again, and he'll be brought down short. What an experience these seniors have had in their time here at Alabama. A final knee by Dylan Lonergan, and that'll do it. 
on senior day. Alabama, they win it big. 66 to 10 over Chattanooga. And for Nick Saban, obviously he'll find some things that he wants to clean up, but for the most part, Alabama, they came ready to play no matter who the opponent was. I, I don't think you can be too displeased. There's a lot of top-notch teams that would have come in here and just looked off-kilter a little bit. Not, not this Alabama team, not how they're playing at this point in the season.